Originally, this was never going to be a video blog. We were on our way across Europe, and as we often do, we stopped off in Germany to see our mates Mike and Simone, and possibly do a little bit of fishing for a, you know, a few hours or a couple of nights. And yeah, it was no more than that to start with. We all met on the banks of Cassian sometime in the mid 90s and we've been friends ever since and we've enjoyed many sessions together at all different venues around different countries, always having a good laugh and a few fish along the way. But this time we were just going to visit them in their hometown and fish a few local waters. As I said we didn't have much time, maybe two nights on one lake, a couple of hours on another and that was going to be it. But what we didn't realise was what was going to happen in that short time we had available. It was way beyond any of our expectations and so what I did was scramble together what little bits of video I had, some phone footage and yeah a few camera stills here and there and put together what follows which was a great memory of a great few days fishing. On the first lake, tactics were going to be pretty simple, just tiger nuts with tiger nut slush. And yeah, I was going to use my old slip D rigs, just with a single tiger nut and a little tiny pop up, just to balance the rig. Ah, this is just beautiful. So nice to be here again. So, I'm just rowing across. There's a couple of, uh, spots hopefully I remember fishing across to this other bank and yeah there's a few trees here and there but the carp love to be here and yeah it's just lovely the water can't see the bottom here it's too deep but the water's ever so clear at the moment looks lovely I do know over here there's a lovely clear spot and because it's so clear I'm going to fish right down the bottom of it probably in about 12 foot as far down as I can get actually on the clear spot getting close and maybe even see a fish or two Just beautiful. Yeah, the clear spot is just, just there. Yeah, I can just make out the bottom there, it's lovely. It's gonna go there. Oh yeah, I can see a fish. <sighs> Whoa, okay, I'm not gonna go in too far. Yeah. I'm not even going to disturb it, but there's a that was a nice fish I've just seen in there. I'm sure if I crept in, I'd see more, but I don't want to disturb her. I spooked him a bit. Okay, let's just get the rod out and get out. And maybe, just maybe, we might get one. That is so lovely down there. It's a little bit breezy, so it's not easy to hold the boat, unfortunately, in the right position. It'd be nice to be able to stop and have a proper look, but I know roughly where it's got to go, so if I can just oh, I don't think it's, uh, it's gonna be tough for that breeze. It's blowing me out already from where I 
want to be. single tiger nut, a single pop-up going down. Dunk. <laughs> Lovely. Right, okay. I was using braided line and quite a thick leader so I just added a back lead to keep that line down in the water a little bit and out of sight. I was still going to be fishing locked up but that little back lead would still keep the line down more in the water than it would be otherwise. Okay, job done. So that was one rod done, another two to go, and yeah, I was fishing all three across to that far margin, which was the main patrol route for the fish. And then with all three rods in position, yeah, it was just a matter of seeing what the night would bring. Hopefully a bit of carp action. bit of carnage this morning yeah one fish lost but two runs and we have one <laughs> yes and a nice one a nice big common that's a nice fish, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not the same. Now, no, you, see now you can see, yeah. The propor proportion yeah, is different. It's more. But look here, for you feel the one. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hallo, sei mal lieb hier. Kommst du gleich zurück, du kleiner Schwein. Oh, he's a nice carp. Yes. Yeah, he's a nice one, isn't he? And he's the one he. Um, the two, the brown one, yeah. maybe we catch the brown long one, very often falls, and the high one you catch the line. This is the one, not so often. Ah. Yeah, good. Yes, he's away, yes, he's away. Okay. Okay, maybe I make... Okay. Oh, Steve, what a fish. <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so happy with this one. A very big common. An old one. Yeah, an old warrior. Happy days. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. There was a bit more action to come that day. Firstly, from quite a big tench. I don't catch many tench these days, so, you know, that was quite nice but then from a big grass carp and there's a few in the lake not many and this is actually the first one I've caught from the lake first one in Germany um, and yeah unfortunately I didn't get it on film which was a bit of a mistake in actual fact on social media it's been my most liked picture of all time this grass carp so yeah I wish I'd got it on film now because people obviously like them but yeah it was a nice afternoon surprise anyway Is 
sind alle zu, ne? Und eine Safran. Ohne Worte, Leute. <lacht> ja, I'm hungry. <lacht> Yeah, good times with good friends is what it's all about, isn't it? But we had one more night to go, so yeah, we wondered what that would bring. Oh, it's another big one. That's a nice, big, wide mirror. <laughs> A grey one. Not by much, but he's the biggest. 47 and a half pounds. <laughs> Steve, what happened? Wow, he was hungry. Yeah, all our tires. Wow. Yeah, many. Crazy how many. <sighs> nice carp. Yeah. Yeah, he's beautiful. Still, oh, still tiger nuts coming out. a little bit deeper I think only the head deeper deeper yes yeah this is nice I think and I think it's enough beautiful I had one more okay So he's nearly the same size as the first one with the that was 47 and a half, 21.5. And this one is just a little bit below, so 21.4, 21. So many old ones in the last 48 hours. No, yeah. 36 hours, yeah. Yeah. The weather is perfect. Rain, <coughs> sun, hard rain. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, thanks, mate. All is nice, yeah. <sighs> Very nice days. Oh, so good. So many nice fish. So many nice fish. I lost a very big one. Yeah, the first one, wasn't it? The first, first one. one. Very strong male for sure. <sighs> brutal. We say brutal. I can't stop this fish. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I lose the first one as well. And then after that, yeah, we get all. We get all, yeah, and all good ones. <laughs> all, all good, good ones. ones. Everything over forty pound. <laughs> Lovely old carp. Lovely old carp. Yeah, needless to say, I was blown away by what happened there. You know, it was way beyond our expectations, didn't it? I was hopefully just going to catch one fish or get a bite, you know, and we ended up with all those lovely fish. 
Unfortunately for Mike, he had hooked maybe the biggest one of the lot and lost it. So it was a real shame, you know, to, to leave that lake without him catching a fish. But, you know, he had other ideas up his sleeve. There was another little lake not too far away. Um, didn't see a lot of angling pressure, but held some nice fish. And he said, yeah, maybe we can have an afternoon on there. So, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, today just a little short session. Little bag of boilies, scopes, a chair. Let me have all of that can stay behind. Yeah, today we've only got a few hours, but we've come to another lake and uh, yeah, more of a park lake. Little Rainbow <laughs> it's referred to. It's very snaggy, but um, some lovely carp in here and it's a beautiful lake. No one else here, which is pretty normal really. But we baited up, we baited up yesterday and uh, I know Mike has baited up before as well, a couple of evenings, so They've had a bit of food to be getting on with. And yeah, we've only got well, a short afternoon session. Four hours maybe, sort of tops. See how it goes. But the weather is absolutely bang on. You know, it couldn't be any better. This was bang on for the other lake, but here it's just as good. Drizzly, overcast, low pressure, warm. And yeah, perfect fishing conditions. We're not here at the best time, like mornings are normally best, evenings, nights, and we've got the afternoon. So it's not ideal time, but everything else is bang on. So yeah, hopefully we can get one or two of these lovely fish that are in here. Yeah, I guess that's the sign of what you call someone who's been having a bit of action. <laughs> it's been pretty hectic the last few days and uh, there's been no time to tidy up the tackle box as you can see. But untidy tackle box means <laughs> tidy results. It was pretty much same tactics, you know, it was hit and hold snag fishing and yeah, strong gear, strong leaders. The only difference this time was the tiger nuts have been put away and out come the Scopex squids. This was boily fishing. Yeah, beautiful little carpy corner. We fed some boilies here yesterday and uh, yeah I think the fish are here just got the rod out and had a little liner already only a couple of hours fishing but it might be enough you never know one rod each You're allowed three rods on the lake, so Mike actually put a second rod out for himself, which seemed the obvious thing to do to up the chances. Nobody wants to sit here overnight.
short video or yes why not super he's a good fighter the problem is he has so many trees in it. Yeah, there's a car and it's full with snacks, so that is a problem. Most of the fish you lose in the night and no boat allowed and the fish are so strong. But he is a big mama. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's not boring. Carp fishing is not boring. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what a carp. Beautiful. It's one from the biggest here. It's a very nice one. Very strong. It's a female. A long fish. Yes. <sighs> wow. Ha <sighs> Yes, my friend. Oh, it was amazing to see that fish one of the biggest fish in the lake and yeah we hadn't been there long and Mike yeah being a good mate he is he said yeah I'll take one of my rods out you put an extra rod out so we still had the three rods but now I had two rods out giving me an extra chance of getting one from here as well Certainly yesterday we baited up with scopet squid. We put about, I don't know, two or three kilos out there. And um, yeah, they've been getting on it all right. Yeah, as they always do, they love it. They love the corner and they love a bit of food. You know, they're not too far away from the sanctuary of the snags here, so they feel safe. But we've got a chance of getting them out. Well, it's a snaggy corner, but you know, Snake fishing, if you do it right, you can get them out. So that's what we're doing. You know, fingers crossed we've got it right again, and uh, I know we have. Get on the rods quick, use the right gear, and uh, yeah, get the fish on the bank. Well, I didn't get the take on film or the fight, but you... Glasses. Yeah, my glasses are in the oh. in the mud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the but rod was nearly in the lake. Yeah, I bet you get the fish. But the fish is in the sling. A dark one. Yeah, a dark mirror. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. God. What a day. Carnage. Have now in... I never had it before. I fished this lake. Ooh. Yeah, over 20 years, but the weather is perfect for sure. Terrible weather. And we, we get how many? Four runs. In Three carp in what, four hours? Oh, yes, yeah, three, three or four hours. Three or four hours. Four runs. Four runs. And only lose Unbelievable. one. Unbelievable. Yeah, we get three fish and, and a big one. And a, a real big, big one. one. One of the big ones. But yeah, <laughs> that tells its own story. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, but we got the fish, that's the main thing. Okay, let's have a look. It's only 15 kilo. By, by this fish I say 16, 17, but... Yeah, 50, 34 pounds. Ah, that's what you call short session carping at its best. Four hour session, three carp. And I got one in the end. 34 pound. Yeah, he's nervous. How many showers we take in the last day? <laughs> <laughs> many. Oh nice, yes Mr. Brick. Yes. Give me a smile. <laughs> what a fish. Yeah, it's an old woman from this lake. Yeah. I have yeah. nice pictures for sure. <laughs> that is perfect. Perfect way to end the day. A lovely, lovely old German mirror. 34 pounds. Beautiful. Mwah. Happy days. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Okay, let's go home. Yeah. So that was the end of the fishing. All brief but very hectic and very enjoyable. It was brilliant. So yeah, back to the house and uh, back to see family and friends. And Mike had to work as well. He owns a bakery. So yeah, we spent a bit of time in there. Always love going to the bakery. See Mike and uh, yeah, it's a place for everyone to meet up. But we also met up at Sven's restaurant, another good friend from the past, and uh, yeah, happy times with lovely people. And roll on the next time. Take all home. Yeah. 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 Yeah.